Now when it comes to measuring piston skirts for reuse, sometimes it can be immediately obvious. You can see the amount of scuffing and wear on this piston. Am I going to waste my time actually inspecting it, inspecting it? No, I know this one here is probably out of spec. And then again, if I look at the top of it, it's been beat to death by a valve. So I'm going to leave this one alone. But what about a piston that looks like this? Okay, there is slight scuffing, right? It's been used. Now you can see some used marks on here. Is this one still serviceable? Well, we need to measure it with a micrometer. Okay. Pop this guy apart. Put them on the bench. Put the connecting rod out of the way. Now, the manufacturer is probably going to give you a specification where to measure this. Okay, this one here is a Navistar part. Um, make sure it's clean. Okay, wipe that off. Wipe that off. Make sure there's no dirt. It's probably going to say, you know, where the wear occurs the most. And in this case, we can actually see where that wear occurs the most. If we come in here to planet Earth, you can see the scuffing where it happened. Now they're probably going to say one inch or an inch and a half or an exact measurement from the edge of the skirt or away from the, the oil control ring. What I like to do is get the old paint pen out, put a dot where I'm going to measure. Flip it over, measure it, put my dot here as well. You can use just a marker if you like, that's fine. What this is going to do for me, make sure I have my micrometer in the right location. Now, the skirt itself, it's hard to see on camera, but it is round. It's rounded, it's not flat. So we put a micrometer on here, we have to do the same thing we would if it was like a, a, a pin. Essentially, you want to find that maximum diameter and get that slight drag. So we're just about there. We're going down to where our hole is. There's our magic ticket. Okay, lock this guy so we don't lose our, our measurement. And then we have a chance to read it. 